So I'm here at the uh, storage facility where I work on my boat. And um, here in North Texas, we've had several power outages. Just uh, the, the power grid wasn't prepared for this kind of weather. And um, so anyway, I'm here and I can't get in. As you can see, the power's off. So, um, can't get in to do anything on the boat. Um, so I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, kind of explain who I am and uh, what I'm doing and why I make these uh, videos. Uh, but anyway, um, so my name's John and um, I've been uh, restoring sailboats for quite a while just as a hobby, nothing uh, nothing to make money, just as a hobby, something to, um, something to do. I, I guess I enjoy restoring the boat as much as I do sailing them. Um, you know, uh, all of it combined is, is really a lot of fun, finding a, a quality sailboat to, um, to start the restoration and you know enjoy selling is a lot of fun and then of course uh, fixing or restoring the boat is the most fun to me I get the most satisfaction out of that and of course selling it um, you know that's that's why I do it is to go out and sail that's kind of what I do it's just a hobby there's no there's no money in this I don't do it for the money in fact um, all the reason I do the videos is uh, over the years of restoring boats, I've had several friends ask me to start videoing it and putting it on YouTube. Of course, everybody that I know watches boat restoration and uh, selling videos on YouTube. So anyway, after years of doing this, I've decided to go ahead and start putting up um, some videos. Start a channel, find it, fix it, sell it. That's pretty much what I do. And um, I have a job. I'm a uh, quality engineer for a worldwide company uh, that I do for a living. This is just simply a hobby. Um, but as you can see, if you look around here in the greater northern Texas area, it is covered in snow. We got about five inches, five, six inches. The um, the bad weather has really put the city or uh, the state for that matter in a standstill. No one's really prepared for this weather. Uh, I mean, the grid is not prepared for the weather. But anyway, uh, this will all be over soon and I can get back to work. Also, I've got, a guy called me the other day, he's moving and um, he wants to sell his boat. and. He has a, I believe it's a Ranger 23. Very nice boat. I mean, of course it's gonna need restoring. Otherwise I wouldn't be interested in it. Um, we'll go look at that as soon as, as soon as we can. May even go over there today if I can get, get in the marina. Um, anyway, I'll take you along. We'll take a look at that. Um, give you a kind of a story on my boat the, that I have now the San Juan 24 I bought it last summer and I sailed it for a month or two and then of course the only reason I bought it was to restore it but it's a fun fast little boat and it's solid there's not a flaw on the hull anywhere or the deck um, it's I mean there's blemishes in the finish but as far as uh, soft spots or anything like that, it's a very solid boat. Um, my boat, from my understanding and what I was told, and I have no idea if this is true, but supposedly it is the last SJ24 ever made. And I can't confirm that, I have no idea really. But I have spoke to other San Juan owners 
uh, SJ24 owners and no one has produced a hull number that is older or I guess newer what I mean than mine and so that gives um, gives me reason to believe the story that this was the last one ever made and also the other San Juans that I've looked at had wooden bossa core in the deck mine is a solid hard foam core it's not a soft foam core it is a hard foam like a rock core throughout the deck um, so that's uh, that's definitely a plus to this this San Juan um, but anyway I pulled it out of the water I brought it to the storage facility and the first thing I did was just strip it down uh, strip all the hardware off, remove all the windows and uh, all the wood, trim, everything. Started immediately sanding off the non-skid so that I could uh, repair the spider cracks. If it wasn't for the spider cracks, I would have done nothing to this deck. So the, um, the spider cracks, I've ground those out after I sanded the non-skid down, ground those out, filled them in, then primered and began painting the the deck i um i use alex seal and if you're not familiar with alex seal i highly recommend if you're if you're gonna do a diy kind of you know do it yourself paint job there's nothing i've seen better as far as uh, the finish the quality than alex seal paints now i've used a lot of other paints uh, interlux has a really perfection a really good paint extremely durable I've, I've never seen anything as durable as the interlux uh, perfection paint but it, it's very hard to get a, a smooth flowing finish alex seal has um, an additive that they come out with that, that you just put in the paint and you roll it on you don't have to tip you don't have to do anything you just roll it out roll it on mix it as it's required and roll it on and um, you come back the next day and it's just class smooth. Now I do always wet sand and buff to get a uh, perfect finish or the best I can. It's just something I do from restoring antique cars in years past. I restored a 65 Mustang and I'll put some pictures of that up so you can see that. But. Um, the Alex seal, I'll never use anything else unless I'm looking for, if I want something that's more durable. Uh, Alex seal is very durable, but if you want the highest in durability, I would recommend Interlux Perfection. It's not gonna be the prettiest uh, flowing wise. It looks great, you know. Uh, I guess I'm a little too picky, but it's very, very hard to get it to flow out and tip properly. Some people have mastered that with uh, Interlux, I can't. So I just use Alex Hill. But um, so now, after that being said, I am working on the, the cockpit, trying to get it prepared for paint. And been working on the cockpit drains. It had had busted plastic uh, drains, so I had to bust them out. And uh, if you watch my previous video, you'll see I'm glassing in some uh, fiberglass tubes finish that and paint the cockpit and then I'll move down to the top sides fairing that and uh, redoing the all of the blemishes or uh, whatever and come up with a paint scheme for as a bootstripe and pinstriping and color and all that and then once that's done I'll do the bottom uh, the finish or do the bottom I won't put the I won't put the bottom paint on it yet, but I will ferret and sand it back, ferret and put the, get it ready for, I'll put a barrier coat and get it ready for bottom paint. I'll do the bottom paint last before I go put it in water. So after that, I'll start on the interior. I'll completely restore and do everything I can on the interior. And uh, then from there, work on the hardware, uh, running rigging, the mast. Um, do the bottom paint, put it in the water, um, and start on the next one. So, all right, so I'm here at the marina park where the boat is. I'm going to see if I can't get in to take a look at this 
uh, Ranger 23 if uh, if I can get in. It's pretty uh, <laughs> looks pretty shut down around here. The gate, the gate is locked. Maybe I can uh, hang out here long enough and somebody will open the gate and I can get in. I'm trying to see which boat it is. I don't see it. Maybe on the other side. So I'm gonna walk around out here and see if somebody will let me in. Probably not likely, but I'm gonna take them up. Well, that was a bust. The gate's locked and I can't get in to see the boat. So I will uh, meet up with uh, my friend and go out there and take a look at that another day. So anyway, uh, that's my story, what I'm doing. I hope somebody enjoys watching these and subscribes. Uh, I don't get paid from YouTube for these videos. And maybe after a few years it provided you all subscribe and watch them i will start getting something back from youtube but i'm sure that's two three or four years down the road maybe um, so simply a hobby hope you enjoy it and um, see you when the weather breaks thank you